All right, I'm back here. Um, last I left off, I made a bronze ingot, which is in my hand right now, and built the armory. Cool. Um, what I've done off camera is this. Bam! <laughs> seven bronze ingots. <laughs> du um, double ingots. And uh, seven is enough to make the bronze anvil. And I got these leftover two ingots. I'm going to make two pickaxes out of these because I have a lot of digging planned in the near future. Um, I'll even do it today if I get to it, but I'm not sure. Okay, before I do anything else, though, I just want to mention a few things. Um, well, let me let me talk about this first. If you, you notice that down there, that is a whole load of trees that grew. <laughs> They're all willow trees. And I, I planted them. Well, when I was uh, smelting the um, the bronze, the copper and stuff to make the bronze, I ran out of coal. And um, I figure that the willow trees give you the most wood per tree, aside from the big sequoias. Obviously, you can't can't see them right there, right there though. Um, so I I went out, got a lot of saplings, and I planted a bunch of them. And I was gonna farm those to make another charcoal pick, uh, charcoal pit. But even that was taking forever. So I just said, you know what? The hell with it. I'm cutting down the sequoias. Because I just... If you haven't noticed, gathering wood for the charcoal pits is like my least favorite thing to do. So I said, I'm not even going to make myself miserable over it. I'm just cutting down the sequoias. And um, and you just use that butt ton of wood they give you. Uh, all you have to do is go out. You know, because my deal was I didn't want to... Uh, uh, make the um, change the landscape pretty much. I like the sequoias; they they make a pretty view and all that. But they're abundant enough everywhere. I mean, they're freaking everywhere. All I had to do was go out a little bit, and there's tons of them. So I'll just be cutting those down instead of um for a charcoal pits instead of making it a long drawn out process. But yeah, I still got a bunch of uh willow trees in my courtyard here. I'll eventually cut them down and use them. I got a lot more charcoal this time. I used the same dimensions and I ended up getting four full stacks plus 15. Last time I think I only got three stacks and like three and a half stacks. So that was cool. Um, what else? What else? Uh, there's something that's been on my mind for a few days. I want to talk about it. Uh, when I lost internet, <clears throat> TFC had just updated, upgraded to 1.4. And I was out for like 11 days, I think. So when I came back on, I went to the website because I wanted to see um, the change log, see if he upgraded some more, uh, you know, bug fixes and all this and that. And I was surprised to see he was at build 66 already. When I left, he was only at build 54. So I'm going through the change log to check out everything that he did. And that's when I saw it. I was like, duh, build 59 will break your world. So I said, damn, I won't be updating anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, I like that sunrise. There it is again. Those are all the, those are the sequoia trees, those big ones. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, I don't want to update. I don't want to start a new world just yet I mean this is still so young this world I've barely done anything um, as far as progression through the tiers of metal and you know building stuff I didn't even get into farms yet so and I was looking at the change log and there's nothing really too tempting in the new version to make me upgrade the only thing that I really like is the um, the new food system how you can make meals and stuff but that wasn't, that's not enough to make me start a new world just yet. What I'm really wait, waiting for is the gunpowder update. Because I believe there was some talk on the forums that that's, they said they may um, implement a way to make gunpowder out of some of the minerals that you find. That would be pretty cool because I would love to mine with dynamite in this, this mod. And I would use it just to terraform because I actually hate this thing right here and I want to get rid of it. But I'm not going to uh, knock it out with a pick. That'll take forever. i got to get my hands on some TNT to knock that down. 
but that's not even in the update yet so um, I'm not I'm not gonna worry about it I'm not gonna update but when the time comes to upgrade which it will can't stay here forever you know that everything's gonna progress and you gotta you gotta keep up eventually you can't fall too far behind uh, I will create a new world but I've been thinking about this a lot. It's not just going to be, okay, buy world, start new world, season 2, episode 1. No, nah, nah, I don't roll like that. This is going to be one continuous series. I'm going to find a way to tie the two together. And I, I already got the idea in my head about what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you because it's going to be cool. If I could do it right, it's going to be hard for me. It's going to be a challenge. I'm going to learn a lot. But that's really why I got into this is to learn how to edit and do all this stuff. But it's it's going to be cool. So this is an ongoing series. I'm going to tie the new world together with this world. And I, I think it's going to be cool when the time comes to do it. But with that being said, I guess I'm going to chill here in the 1.3 version. I think I can actually upgrade to 1.4. There were a few builds. I don't know how stable they were, though, that were released before before the 59 update, which will break your world. But it was still 1.4. But I don't know. Maybe I should just, you know, leave it, leave it alone because everything's fine just the way it is now. You know, just, just let sleeping dogs lie. You know, go around kicking them. So with that said, uh, I believe that's everything. And we could get to work. Get to work today. Alright, so... Well, the first thing I want to do is make the bronze anvil. Oh, let me do that. Upgrade or upgrading already. Feels like we just made the copper one. There it is, a bronze anvil. What? What did I get for that? Oh, the hammer. <laughs> and there it is, bronze anvil, baby. We're moving up in the world. I like the copper anvil. I'm not just going to throw it out. I'm going to save it. Do something with it. I'm going to like put it in a wall for artwork or something. I guess it could be a good store. Yeah, right here in the armory. Oh, you can't put it in the chest. Well, you know what? I'll just throw it down. I'm not carrying it around with me. There. It could just stay there for now. <clears throat> Alright. Um, Things I want to do today. I'm going to make these two ingots into pickaxes. I, th I mentioned that because I am going to dig today. Today I want to get started on the um, the mess storage room. It's going to be big. Well, not huge, but it's going to be big. It's, it's going to be a project. It's going to mostly be off-camera work because it's just going to be boring digging. Uh, but before I do that, I want to make armor. That's right, armor. I couldn't think of it. And I'm going to make a full suit of copper armor and not the bronze. Now, why copper? Because, oh, frankly, the copper suit looks just looks way better than a bronze. I mean, that it's it's all about looks with this one. So, I, I don't think there's too much of a huge difference between copper and bronze, especially in this version of TFC I'm using because he didn't update the um, the health system in this version. I mean, you're not even going to tell the difference between bronze and copper except by looks. And the copper just looks a hell of a lot better. So I'm going to go with that. But to make that, it's going to be tedious. It's going to be long. I have to make double ingots and pound them out into like thin sheets of metal. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So I figure I'd make one. Everything I do for the first time, pretty much, I'm going to do it on camera. And then the rest, when it gets repetitive, I'll cut it out. So I need to um, make uh, smelt up some copper. But you know what? I'm going to throw this. I could throw this on the fire in the time being to heat these up. So I could turn those into um, pickaxes. And you don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about this because these will catch it in case it uh, liquefies. Okay, got that rolling. Oop, fell in there. 
Uh, and if you're noticing the fire pit, yeah, I did make one fire pit here. I used it to smelt some uh, tin to make this tin scythe because they go pretty quick, the damn scythes. I wish they had more durability, but look at all those leaves. I was just hacking those down like a champ going through scythes and stuff. And that's when I didn't have any charcoal, so I couldn't melt it in this. In the Big Daddy Furnace, I had to go back to the old fire pit. But that's that. And let me get some copper. Smelt this up and three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. The ten to eight ratio works for, for for me with the copper. That's what I find that works best. Um so I'm gonna get two ingots out of this. I'm gonna weld them together into double ingot, and then double ingot you just pound it into a uh I'm not exactly sure. You, you pound that into the um, sheet of metal. I don't. I don't know if it needs to be. I guess it needs to be a certain temperature because it's got to be worked. I don't know, but we're gonna find out now. Hmm. Let's see. Draw, bend, punch. Okay, so I gotta go up. Draw, that might be too far. Bend, punch. Yeah, it was just too far. Go back a little bit. Go back one more. Draw, bend, punch. There we go. There it is. First bronze ingot. Or uh, uh, bronze. Uh, Pickaxe head. This should be hot enough. Oh yeah, it's way hot. How's this stuff doing? Oh, dumped. So let's get this going. Right. I gotta throw some more of that because I'm gonna need to be making a lot of double ingots here. Let me throw some more in there really quick. Yeah, I'm gonna be making a lot of double ingots. I think I need to make like eleven or something for um to make all the metal sheets I need for the armor. I still don't even make any plans or anything for the armor. I'm gonna do all that in a minute. I think I I messed up my count there, but whatever. Yeah. 36, I think he needs one or two more. One. There you go. How this doing? It's cool down yet. First bronze pickaxe head. I like it. We're at orange, baby. Let's work it up. There we go. Same thing here. Draw, bend, punch, perfect. Here we go. Two pickaxe heads. All right. That's done. What did he do? Oh, they're at orange. All right. Let's see how this is done now. One, two, flux, weld it, okay. Now what? Is that it? That's all I gotta do? For a um, metal sheet? There it is, all right. That wasn't half bad. You know what though? I wonder if these have to be a certain temperature when I work with them. How the hell would you heat one of these things up anyway? Can I heat it up on here? What's that? 
bright red four. Uh, cool down one star there, buddy. There you go. Yeah, it did heat up. Maybe I'm gonna have to heat these things up too. Well, you know what? I mean, I'm just gonna have to make them all first because I try to cut out this fire pit thing as much as possible. It, it it's just extra charcoal that you gotta waste. If you could go straight from the uh, from the oven to the uh, to the anvil, it's better. When you when you throw this thing in the middle, you're just wasting charcoal, which means more trips out to the jungle to cut down trees. And it took a long time to do all that. Honestly, I was playing for like an hour before I even started recording just to set this up. But oh well, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I can't I can't make all these enough fast enough to keep them hot and then start working on them. I'll just have to heat them up in there. And I came across more um, marble while I was out there and I collected some. So I'm going to need it for the flux powder. I don't want this cooling down on me because I noticed this output disappears when you let it cool down and you could lose all that. I need to make the plans. I'm going to need more paper. No, this might be enough. For the helmet. And, you know what, let me do this quick enough. Maybe I'll be able to, um, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh, I, I need to, maybe I'll be able to still use that. All right, scribing table. The helmet was simple enough like this. I thought I did this when I was testing, and it didn't work, but whatever. Now, let me do this. Can I still... Ah, uh, that's not going to be able to work. But you know what? Let me see. Let me see what happens. Throw that in there. Bend, bend, hit. Yeah, it's not working. Let me heat this up. How are they doing? Oh, they're already ready. But it's starting to get uh, crazy again. Where am I? What am I doing here? Let me see if this would work. Okay, so it's got to be orange. Bend, bend, hit. Maybe I went too, too far. Bend, bend. No, that was too far. Bend, bend, hit. There we go. Just like that. That's not done yet, however. Wow, this is making me nervous. Oh, look at that. I lost it. All right, no big deal, though. That was no big deal. So I'll just let that cool. No big deal. I'm glad it gives you back um, it gives you back two liquid in molds instead of just letting it instead of just losing it. But that's not done yet. I need to make another, I believe, another um, tin, another plate and weld the plate to the helmet right that's what it looks like it's saying on the wiki it's not um, I can't just throw that on my nugget right now I don't think it would work I right, just missed it Uh, well, let me see, All right? Well, let me see, let me check. Well, it's, it's showing me this right here. Do, do I have to heat that up too? So let me throw these on here. And these are going to have to go back on there. Let me get these up to orange. That's orange. Let me get this helmet up to orange and see if it works. All right, all right, hot off the fire. Is this gonna work? What's the problem? Why isn't it working? See how it says stage one? It has to have a, a thing welded to it. 
Do I just weld? Do I hit the weld button? There are no rules. Do I need flux? There we go. That was it. Stage two. That should be the final stage, right? Why does it say stage two? It should just be complete. Well, let me put it on. See if it works there. I'll, I'll put on some orange hot copper onto my face. <laughs> it didn't go on. Um, either it needs to cool down or I'm missing something here. Well, you know what? Let me make uh, the plans for everything else. And I'm going to need more reed. What do I need? Boots. I didn't know how to do the boots. I gotta look that up. The pants were like this, right? Something like this. They were just thicker. There we go. There's the pants. Uh just Alright, well, there is another stage. There you go. That's the last stage. And it's bend, bend, hit. There we go. Now it's done. Throw this on. Boom. -boom. Alright. It works. I'm going to make the whole thing before I, uh, before I put it on. So let me make the other two plans really quick. The uh, chest goes like this. It's got to be worked. Now what happened? There you go. And the boots go like this. Right? Yeah. Alright, so that's the recipes are done. Now these gotta be heated up again to orange before I could right? Oh no, I could ingot them now. I'm gonna have to run and get that um bit of marble. This is my last piece of flux powder. Weld. Could I make a thing out of that really quick? Yes, I can. Oop, just missed it. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to go get some more. Um, flux powder. Yeah, my marble is downstairs, right? I left it downstairs. Yeah, let me go grab that. Alright, now you go back up there. Um, but now I know some of these, I think the chest plate needs to be a double copper sheet, which means two, um, two double ingots, which means four ingots alone. So, now before I lose that, let me heat it up, I'm going to throw some more in there. All right. Now, this sheet's gonna have to get heated up again. Let me make the boots next. Just missed it. Damn it. There we go. Got some copper boots. Now. I have to mold the plate to it. I'm going to have to keep them nice and roasty toasty. Yeah, you go back on there. Get your uh, get back into dark red. How are you two doing? Still liquid?
Oh, the pizza's here. Oh, never mind. It's just a zombie breaking down my door. God, they're so annoying. Oh, come on. I went to dark red already. Man, that wiki really needs to clarify things a bit more. Alright, that's that orange. I don't... Come on, quick, quick. Flux, well, there we go. It has to be at orange to get it to, uh... No, I, I messed it up by doing that. Why did I do that? Shrink, bend, bend. Just off. Shrink, bend, bend. Just off again. Damn it. Shrink, bend, bend. Way off. Shrink. No, it's going to be off. Shrink, bend, bend. There we go. Alright, well, we got boots now. Alright, I'm going to weld two together. i never done this before. I'm guessing it's just like that. Yeah, there we go. So I got a double. And with a double, I got to make a... Uh, look at this. Upset, hit, hit. Let's get all the way over there. No, not... Oh, I really killed it right there. Upset, hit, hit. There we go. That looks funky. Alright, so that's that. Alright, this chest plate had to be a double ingot onto a double ingot or a, a double um thing welded to it to make that in the first place and then make another double to weld it just like that. So it was a little bit more copper than I thought. Oh look that one took no durability damage. I'm finally getting it right. <laughs> so that's done. Now it's time for the pants. That's it. And this should be, um, I put a lot in there this time. I believe the pants are a double ingot on top of, or a, a double sheet on top of a single sheet. So let me let these cool off. And I'm going to throw some more in there. Just because I want to get caught dead in the water again. So I gotta make another double sheet, which would be one, two, double sheet, make the pants, and then weld that to a single sheet. You know what? I was supposed to work this again, wasn't I? Durr. Durr. That's why it didn't take no durability damage. Oh boy. No big deal. I gotta wait till this cools anyway. Let me get that back to orange. There we go. Simple enough. There's a little bit of durability damage, but whatever. I got it. Alright, let's see if I could do this all in one shot. See how good I'm, if I'm getting good. Okay. Come on, baby. I'm just trying to weld these two sheets together at, at one time. Still orange. They got to go down here, right, dummy? There we go. Oh, now I make the pants. Don't get ahead of yourself. Hit, draw, bend. Um, hit will go to the left. Two to the left, one to the right. 
Or it's got to be up a little bit. Hit. No, it's way too far. Right? Oh, nice. I'm getting better. Not the I'm not perfect. But I'm getting there. Just keep these on the keep them on the fire, keep them nice and warm. Alright, um, crap. Oh, come on, come on, come on, just give me all of it. No, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Hit, draw, bend. Just did that. Draw, bend. Ooh, and there it is. I am finished. Right, everything's out of there. Yeah. I don't want to lose anything. There it is. The first set of armor. Well, let's put it on, shall we? Some boots. No, those are damn old, old boots. The hell. There we go. Some pants. Look at those nifty pants. Some boots. Chest. And I'll form the head. Get it? <laughs> From uh uh what is that? Holy cow, that damn old cartoon with the, the cats, that Voltron. Google it. All right. Anyway, there it is. Check it out. Now I'm going to make me my pickaxe, too. And... What, what the... <laughs> what are these, um, assless chaps or something? These prawn... Or these copper legs? <laughs> Look at them, they're assless chaps. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, that's what I look like. Not bad. There it is. So I'm going to go out into the world on my next adventure. All right, so that would uh, that was uh, plenty. That took a long time, and I think uh, that's good enough for today. So I'm gonna leave it at that, and I will catch you next time. Later. I'm gonna walk off into the sunset with my assless chaps. Ah, look at that.